Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie. I just finished the last vlog inside, but I decided to come outside and start today's vlog. Um, we are going to an island. I can't remember the name of it. We're going with Yati, the person that we're staying with, and a couple of other guests as well. Um, super excited to show you around. I'm not sure how much I'll vlog because obviously there's other people here, but I'm super excited, so let's get going. So we have come to the jetty slash port where we're supposed to be getting the boat from. It's 2.36, the boat leaves at 2.30, this is Judd. So um, we've missed the boat, so I think she's going to try and get a private boat instead. So the kind of the bigger boat would have been 10 ringgit per person and there's four of us plus Judd and her, Yeti. I'm going to pay for myself. But then to get a private boat, it was 80 ringgit, I think. So I think we're going to do that, get a private boat to Tuba Island so that we can go and explore. So we're going to Tuba Island. There's a place there we're going to get some really good noodles and seafood apparently and also get a bit of a tour of the island as well which would be nice. So this is our private boat that we're going on. It's nice. We have arrived at Tuba Island. Uh, it took about 10 to 15 minutes on the boat. We're now getting in some old van <laughs> that's going to drive us around for the day. have made it to the restaurant it is somewhere that you would not usually come on your own like it's kind of down a random street but it's lovely it's on the water so there's a beach next door there's somebody chopping up coconuts as well so I'm excited to show you around and enjoy some of the local foods so this is the view like I said there's kind of a small beach and the water and things and then this is the restaurant and there's somebody here chopping up coconuts I'm pretty sure we're gonna have some of these to try as well this is one lucky cat. Okay, so this is the beach and the view from where we're about to have lunch. It's insane. And there's our table. We're like the only people here. So it's nice and private. And in terms of prices, she said if you get noodles with prawn, it's 13. If you get noodles with prawn and squid, it's 22. And if you get noodles with prawn and squid and crab, it's 28 or 30, no, 32 for that. So we're going to share, we're going to get one with everything and one with just prawn because we had a small, well, a sort of lunch this morning at like 12, we went and got rice and eggs and things just to have something because otherwise it's now like three or something, it'd be too late to have just that as our first meal of the day. So we have already eaten something, so we're going to share, so I'll be able to show you that, but Jeremy's about to fly his drone, so I'll insert that so you can enjoy it. Imagine if that was your house and there's no tourists here. It's lovely and that's the restaurant on the right there. Okay so Yati ordered us some coconuts and apparently these are really sweet the yellow ones so I'm going to try it but it is absolutely full. For the background of this would be <laughs> yeah. Okay let's try it. Mmm it's nice. nice. And can you eat the flesh as well? Yeah. Yeah. Delicious. No. Okay, so this is the food, the noodles with seafood. It's got chilies, so I'm going to have to pick them out, but I'm sure it's going to be delicious. There's also a huge portion of fried rice. A 
little lookout. Got a little snap there to be a tourist. And there's actually lots of buffalo here. I'll try and show you. Okay, I've zoomed in a little bit. Can you see all the buffaloes? There's so, so many. It's beautiful. We have come to somewhere called Nobert Resort and there's a swimming pool, there's loads of little huts. Um, the water's actually currently going out so there's some boats sat on stands as well but um, I'll give you a quick look around. So that's where we've parked, that's the van that we're in and this is the resort, Nobert. There's a swimming pool like I said in these kind of chalet huts I guess you get like a, you know, like a little chalet each, you know per family I guess. The water's out so the boats are on stands and I've got these beautiful views. Okay, so we have been driven to the best beach on this island, Tuba Island. I think one of them is a private beach with like a hotel and the other one is one that you can go and swim at and then behind me there is this jetty which is where Jeremy and the other two are with these amazing views I'll show you that in a second but I want to show you the beaches first so this is the first one that I think is owned by a hotel or something it looks nice with the palm trees and the path and things and then this one is the public one there's Judd down there and palm trees it seems to be a little cafe as well and then over this way is the jetty and I'm going to go over there and have a quick look but over that way you might be able to see the Maha Tower so that's where we got the boat from earlier so we're just across there basically Okay, we are back at the fort, not fort, port about to head back, hopefully get the taxi boat back to mainland Langkawi. Did you have a good day? Huh? Did you have a good day? I Next up is to go to a rooftop of a hotel. I think it's called Gold Sands or Golden Sands Hotel. So basically going up to the rooftop because Yati says it's her favorite view and it's the best rooftop in town. So this is the rooftop bar. It's actually really lovely. There's loads of shops down here as well, which is cool. That'd be cool with the drone. And then today, tonight, there's a night market on. Wow, this is cool. Okay, so we've come over to the next section and I think there's a pool, which is lovely. I do not have my swimming things. I'm gonna go and have a look. This view is insane though. So this is the pool. This is like a shallower bit, I think for kids. And it's basically an infinity pool with these views. That is insane. How have we not been here yet? And there's also seats down here so you can like sit and just look out over the water. Oh, for sure we have to come back here. Hi guys, so it's a couple of days later and I'm just editing this video. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed looking around Tuba Island with us. Um, it was definitely worth doing. If you do stay at Langkawi Country Lodge with Mama Yati and Papa Mas, first of all, make sure you say hi from us, say that Rosie sent you. But also, um, you could ask her if she has time to take you to Tuba Island. She does these tours for free, not all the time, not guaranteed. 
it's not something that she kind of promotes but I'm sure if you ask her she would try and find the time to take you on a little day trip so make sure that you do stay there when you're staying in Langkawi. I hope you enjoyed this one anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!